Okay guys, so to hoop our kitchen towels, we're gonna need our embroidery hoop. We're gonna need wash away stabilizer. You wanna use this every time you embroider on towels. It'll keep your design from sinking in to the towel, okay? I always use cutaway stabilizer. Um, Sulky is a really good brand. You need your pins, because we're gonna float the kitchen towels. Spray adhesive, any spray adhesive will do. This is for, um, for fabric, but I've used for paper as well and it works fine for me. And your kitchen towels and some scissors. I'm using my applique scissors because that's just what I have on hand right now. Iron. This iron is super small, light, and very useful. I got it at Walmart. It's great for quilting too. And then a little ironing board. Okay. You're going to open up your towels. And you want to find the middle because that's where your design's going to go if, if you're going to put it in the middle. So what I do is I fold it like a hamburger, hamburger style, and then I fold it hot dog style. And this part right here, that's your middle line, that's your guideline because your applique is going to go here, right? So you want to have a guideline. So you just fold it in, you fold hot dog style. Okay, and then you're going to iron this right here. And that's going to give you your guideline. No markings. You're going to have this, just this line here, this crease that is extremely helpful when getting your work, when you want to get your work straight, your design laid on there straight. Yeah, I do this for t-shirts as well. Okay, and then just, just test it out, see, see? They have that line there. So when you go and hoop your project, there's, guidelines on your hoop here. These are your guidelines here. That's your half point. See? I like to follow these. Also your machine, sometimes your machine comes with a plastic um, guideline as well. Okay, so set your towel aside. Take out your cutaway. You're gonna do your cutaway first. And I just, just enough. You don't need, just, just enough to cover your hoop. So I'm gonna cut it about here. You're gonna hoop your stabilizer. Cut away stabilizer. You can use tear away too, but I just like using cut away. Just to be on the safe side. So you can tighten up your your hoop and you should be able to hear that like should be able to do that okay shouldn't be too loose and just tighten up your hoop okay and you're gonna spray in this area so your, your towel does not move 
to see like okay that stuff gets sticky really fast and then you're gonna float your towel make sure you only get it on one make sure that it's just your stabilizer and your towel okay and then I use my guideline here you kind of feel or you could even you know fold it in half where your guidelines at Fold it in half where your guidelines at. And get this out of the way. Sorry, I'm working outside, guys. I have a window open. And it's summertime, so the flies are not leaving me alone. So just take your time with this. Uh, if this is your prep work, so you want this to come out nice and straight. So there's my, that's kind of like, if you follow these two lines here, along with your guideline, I'm gonna do my a little bit up. I want my applique to start about here. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of space between. Once you got it where you want it, press it down. Okay, I'm gonna press this towel down. And I like to just put a little needle at the edge. Your machine's only gonna sew this area here. It's not gonna sew really close to your hoop. So that's why I like to put my needles so that I know that my machine, my machine will not hit those needles because I'm putting them really close to the hoop. I have not been able to sew or embroider in so long, I just don't get the time. So when I'm able to, it's really exciting for me. want to make more time okay so there's your towel floated on your hoop okay when we insert it into the machine be careful that all this extra fabric back here is away and out you don't want anything interfering underneath here okay I've done it before where this is stuck under and then I go and embroider and then I have to, I got this caught underneath with the thread and it's just a headache. So just take your time and we're going to move on to the embroidery design. I'm going to be stitching out um, a llama here. Okay, so see you guys soon. Spray this again. Go ahead and add your add your uh, washable stabilizer. Okay. Okay. So this is how I hoop uh, this is how I insert the hoop. You want to start under the needle. Okay. And watch your hands. Try not to try not to put your hands on, under the needle at all. You don't want to accidentally press a button and then the needle goes off and then it goes in your hand. This this piece you're gonna insert over here. Okay, so just guide it through. Make sure you don't um, lift your stabilizer and just push that through. Make sure this latch goes down. 
that's going to keep your hoop in place. Okay, so I'm just going to spray a little bit more of this and just press it down. Now I can start um, my my stitching. Okay, so hoop down. I mean, a uh, foot down. Now you have a green. I don't have anything interfering under here. It's just my stabilizer, my fabric, and my wash away stabilizer sandwiched together. And I'm gonna start. So far, it hasn't given me any problems. I bought it on eBay for $1,600. It was used, and it came with the owner's manual. It came with a box. Um, it came with all the hoops, and um, I'll show you guys the box in another video that it came in. I don't use it because I always have my machine out, but. Uh, I'll show you everything that it came with. Okay, so now it's going to tell you what the next color is. And the next color is going to be silver. Okay, so you need to um, pull out your spool very lightly. You don't want to pull anything. Just really lightly, just pull it out. And then switch your color. Also guys, when you're done with uh, this color, you want to go ahead and cut your jump stitches. So just Cut them as close as you can, but not that it's going to cut off of your... Okay, so I went ahead and switched to my color. This is a, like a dark silver. It's much darker in camera. Uh, it's, I mean, it's much lighter in person, darker in camera. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Press your foot down. Start. How to do the how to use the foot the button foot. Um, also the quilting aspect of it um, I haven't got to use I haven't got to do like um, walking designs like swirls or circles and stuff like that I did do a quilt but um, I'm not comfortable with it yet like so this I know is this is to cut your when you're done stitching it, it'll cut the thread for you this is how fast you want your machine to stitch I always have it in the middle I never have it too fast unless I'm stitching out a straight line but I usually have it at that setting I do want to 
start kind of doing my own. And there are a lot of tutorials online on how to use uh, the Solo Pro. And the next color is lemon yellow. So the next color is the fun part. All the colors. Now the little face is stitching out. My daughter, she likes to craft with me. She's my little craft buddy. Stay tuned for our craft shed tutorial. Yes, yeah, stay tuned. You told me just Okay guys, so I want to show you when you're done with one color, it's okay to take your hoop out. Just be very careful. If you have to change your bobbin, you're going to have to do this. But I want to show you that you can cut your jump stitches. Okay? You always want to cut your jump stitches between colors. So I pull it up a little bit and cut. So just, just clean it up so that the new color doesn't uh, cross this one. You can even take uh, some tweezers Pull it up with your tweezers and then cut the bottom so you have a cleaner cut. I'm holding the, the hoop and trying to cut at the same time, so otherwise I would do that. Okay, just get all of them without cutting your, your just your new stitches. Okay. So that's what I have so far, and now I'm gonna switch to yellow. Look at how pretty this yellow is, guys. It's super shiny. It looks better in real life, okay? Yes, it does. <laughs> so I'm super excited to start using color now. the yellow now we're moving on to the black and we're gonna start stitching out the, the eyes and the little nose
Okay, so I'm almost done. Now we're gonna do the pink. Isn't that pink fabulous? Hey guys, we made it to the finish line. This is the last color. It called for light blue, but um, I, it looks really blue on camera, but it's actually like a teal. How cute is that, guys? She's got a little hair piece on top. I'm very happy with how this came out. You could even make it into a boy. You just have to skip uh, when it calls for the eyelash stitch. Just skip that and you'll have yourself a little boy llama. You can make yourself a pear. Um, I'm very happy with all the little detail, the tassels, the the girl that designed this um, did a very good job and I'm going to link her design below. It's an Etsy design. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more craft tutorials and have a great day. Thank you.